Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks to the team over at Mighty Jacks. We're going to be taking a look at two of their Transformers and Artist Quicks collaborative pieces, that being Megatron and Bumblebee. Now for those of you looking to add these pieces to your collection, I will of course include links down in the description box below. In today's video we're going to unbox both of these and I'm going to give you a showcase and actually take a closer look at some of the details. So we'll start off firstly by taking a look here at the box of Megatron. You can see a really cool window view display of the actual character. These pieces are also in fact officially licensed by Hasbro which is excellent and as we just spin around here to the back of the box you can see there you've got a very pirate-esque looking version of Megatron's head done in this almost schematic form so without further ado let's crack this open and see what awaits us inside. And so here we have Megatron cracked open and out of the packaging and looking pretty funky. Now before we actually take a look at the main statue itself, I first of all want to go over very quickly the Certificate of Authenticity. You probably saw this when we did the unboxing, but you can see here, this is a really, really nice touch in my personal opinion. You've got a really nice golden foil label here. As we spin around here to the back, you've merely just got the Mighty Jacks insignia, but definitely really nice attention to detail on this particular piece and it's something nice to just include with a higher end premium product. Now the backdrop is actually cardboard. It does come as part of the insert when you actually do remove Megatron which is really nice and just to show you how that looks you can see you've got Megatron spray painting Megatron rules on the wall which is of course what he would more than likely probably do but actually taking a look here at the Megatron statue definitely a very distinctive design I personally have never seen anything like this on the market it's almost a mix of G1 animated Transformers Cyberverse and then this almost pirate motif which I actually think in all looks really really cool you can see in regards to the paintwork it looks fantastic Megatron's been completely coated in a wicked metallic silver we've got some sort of pirate and cross sword insignia here on the top of his head really nice looking skull work going on for the mouthpiece you can see there the Decepticon insignia some fantastic detailing where the torso is and he does in fact actually include two removable accessories those being these spray cans now these do also have some fluid which is leaked out the top which once again is a really nice attention to detail and these two have also been completely spray painted in silver as we take a look at some of the details from the side you can see there we've got Megatron's fusion cannon completely cast out of a blue plastic with a mixture of red and silver and then taking a look here towards the back you've got some hydraulics going into the back of his neck some nice detailing there which all looks super cool and if we just flip Megatron here to the underside you can see how this is in fact once again a licensed Transformers piece by Mighty Jacks and of course the artist Quicks which is really really cool and also licensed there by Hasbro despite this being a statue he does have a few points of articulation I believe it's only three points so the head here can rotate left to right and the arms can in fact actually hinge up and down which is pretty decent and also you can see there's some nice tread detailing which is a really really nice touch one thing I will mention however is that I was expecting this to be a little heavier the actual material that they appear to have cast this out of is a little flexible you can see here that you can definitely give it a squeeze I definitely wouldn't recommend giving it a squeeze in case you damage the paint but I definitely was expecting these to be cast out of a very very solid material not to say that it's bad but it definitely was a surprise upon getting it out of the packaging so with Megatron fully covered let's move over and take a look at Bumblebee And just like Megatron, here we have Bumblebee cracked open and out of the packaging and looking equally as funky in my opinion. I believe that Bumblebee here is supposed to be more of a DJ when in comparison to Megatron, which at least to me appeared to be inspired by a graffiti artist. Now sadly for Bumblebee, we don't get an insert which is nowhere near as visually appealing as Megatron. We merely do get this almost schematic wave going on. It would have been awesome if we could have gotten some sort of diorama much like Megatron, but nevertheless taking a look here at Bumblebee, much like Megatron, he has also been cast out of that very rubbery material. Honestly, I was very surprised when I got these out of the packaging. I was expecting them to be slightly more rigid, but I imagine with this type of material, you don't necessarily have to worry about accidentally bumping them and then, of course, them shattering into a million pieces. In regards to detail, you can see we've got a very stylistic approach going on here for B's head. We've got, once again, that pirate insignia slap bang there in the center. We've got the horns. They do appear to have given him a slightly more gold bug-esque type of color scheme, especially with the gold spray paint, but I don't think that looks too bad at all. You can see some nice detailing here for the wings as well as the actual door wings here on the back. Back. You can see some decent sculpt work here. The actual wings do not articulate, so don't try and move them around, otherwise you may in fact actually damage this piece. But you can see some nice sculpt work going on there for the fingers as we come here to the torso. You can also reveal the Autobot insignia and the actual front part of where his windscreen would be. And he does come with two accessories, that being one a microphone and then of course this MC knuckle duster. And then just taking a look here from the other side, you can once again see some nice wheel detailing. 
but definitely a very, very funky looking piece. Now, he also can hinge his arms up and down, much like Megatron, so you can get that type of action going on, and we can also rotate his head left to right. And also, like Megatron, if we flip here to the underside, he is officially licensed by Hasbro, Transformers, Mighty Jacks, and of course, the artist Quicks. So definitely a very bizarre looking piece. However, I actually think really distinctive. For those of you who do decide to pick these up and add them to your collection, they're certainly going to stand out from pretty much anything that is currently out there on the market. I do know they did produce a sound wave however that has since sold out so for those looking to actually get these i would probably recommend jumping on them sooner rather than later as there is obviously a demand for them now before i begin to wrap this review up something else which you can do which is actually really kind of cool is if you download the mighty jacks app you can in fact actually register for ownership of this particular bumblebee and it's very simple to do all you have to do is simply scan your phone on this verification code here where it says verified pill and you need to do that roughly two to three times and then the device will actually verify and then you can register for ownership once you're done we can then simply just remove this and bumblebee is registered as yours which is a really really nice touch and so some final thoughts here for these mighty jacks transformers and the artist quicks collaborative pieces overall i think they're really really interesting especially in regards to their design i will however say that i'm not entirely convinced that they should be priced at 250 us dollars i do find that to be a little steep especially considering the materials used they do appear to be a little more squidgier and softer than some of the other statue pieces that i've handled not to say that's bad as of course if you do bump into them they're more than likely not going to shatter or break but I definitely was expecting a little more robust quality in regards to the materials used but I think the paint is certainly where these guys excel especially where Megatron is concerned that metallic silver looks fantastic and they definitely are very funky and bizarre designs so for those of you who just want something a little different to add to your collection then maybe these guys here are worth checking out I once again want to say a massive thank you to Mighty Jacks for sending these two pieces my way here to unbox and review and I really hope that you guys enjoyed taking a look at these as well well, I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below and as always check the links down in the description box below for those of you who wish to check these out on Mighty Jax's site. I thank you all for watching and until my next review I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.